Trump legal team skeptical about the impartiality of juror number six. This is a photograph of the actual jury from the Trump trial. Of course not. This is not <laughs> Long B. But these articles were were good enough that I didn't want to pass them up here. As jury selection continued in his upcoming criminal trial, former President Donald Trump's legal team struggled to weed through the available juror, jurors and voiced skepticism about the impartiality of juror number six. Though they were unable to put their fingers on it, Trump's lawyers said there was something about Juror 6 that seemed off. I can <laughs> swear I've seen her somewhere before. Her name is listed as Jill Sherry Klimtom, but she just seems to be very familiar for some reason. The funny part about this is this is actually reasonably plausible in like a substitute type of sense. I could see Hillary trying to get somebody on the actual jury. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. If not by the whole jury itself. Well, first of all... Um... We all know who how women are, right? No, uh, and this particular woman was in the second seat of this country for what eight years. Yeah, later she was, uh, what is it, a uh, secretary of state who had a sitting senator killed on her watch no, uh, after being raped. And I get that information from actual, uh, publications from the middle east from the very next day and that wasn't put out in any of our media here in the west i wonder why that is maybe it's because i heard these stories this is interesting i did not know this yeah what's this now the senator or the ambassador there are reports out there chris stevens yeah when when benghazi at, yeah that he Look, was if actually I could, killed if, and raped. If I could get into an AFRICOM skiff, I could absolutely prove to you that not only Hillary, but her entire staff knew about that incident because guess what? An embassy being hit like that is a Criticom level report. Correct. That's all the way to the top. Everybody hears about it. You've got literally three minutes to write that and put it out there. Uh -huh. And it'd be a one-liner. And actually... It, Benghazi it, embassy hit. You, you know, rumor. Send it. He's been on the show a few times. Yeah. He was in the skiff when he was in the Air Force that was running all, all of the Mediterranean air ops. He was there while it was all going on. He was looking at the at the, the drone footage, satellite footage. There were some uh, individuals on, you know, secure comms nearby reporting in. There are a couple of higher level skiffs in that area that I actually can't go into. Yeah. Uh, I worked for one of them at one point in time. Um, that definitely would have had that information there. There's no question of what happened, and I could prove it in a heartbeat if I can get into those skiffs. Unfortunately, you and I both know that's not going to happen. Never going to get into a no. skiff ever again in no. our lives. We're good. And I'm, you know what? I'm kind of good with it. I, I don't want to see what's behind the curtain anymore. That's fair. For 33 years, I got to see behind the curtain, and I didn't like the view. That's fair. Don't want to go back. It's, there was one skiff over in Asia where the waiting room was deliberately designed to look like a dentist's office waiting room. Oh, it was very creepy. They, they did that on purpose. Yeah. With the door that's like this thick that would open up. You have somebody in the waiting room and they bring them in and turn all the red lights on and red badges. Cover it up, everyone. And the door. <laughs> and here's this guy <laughs> sitting in a dentist's waiting room going. <laughs> it's like the, it's like the Death Star or something. <laughs> it was great. All right, but first of all, I mean, one of the reasons that we're uh, covering this mainly to scare the shit out of you. Number two, that uh, the powers that be that have led to this list actually happening are still there. And if you think this behavior is going to go away anytime soon, you're out of your goddamn mind. This kind of behavior is nothing new either. I bring up history yes. all the time. Uh, there was a queen of Libya uh, by the name of Lamia, who was this sort of a person. Cleopatra was reputed to be this sort of a person. Uh, Correct. There's a whole host of them. All but the this is the United America. States of America. That's not supposed to happen. But here. what I'm getting at is this has been going on. Yeah. For oh no, no, no. A yeah. Very, very long time. Well, evil has been around for. Uh, forever we're discussing a certain type of evil yeah. though yes. a particular form of evil yes i understand the form of evil yes. that you're, you're, you're talking about so <laughs> hillary clinton condemns trump for paying hush money to political liabilities instead of just killing them <laughs> the beauty of this babylon b article is that it's a joke and then it's not 
former U.S. Senator and email expert Hillary Clinton issued a statement this week condemning Don Trump for not for allegedly paying hush money to political liabilities instead of just killing them. How dumb do you have to be, Clinton told reporters. There's an easy, tried, and true method for dealing with people who make your life hard. Just call my friend Guido and he'll take care of it for you. <laughs> or if you're feeling it for an adventure, a DIY. <laughs> um, it is just amazing that this woman is real and that these things are actually going on. It's a conspiracy theory. Hey, YouTube, this is all conjecture, okay, baby? Correct. This is conjecture. We're going off of an internet meme, uh, and this is one of those urban legend myth fantasy well, choose-your-own-adventure stories. On one of our backup channels, we got a warning strike mm. for the COVID stuff when we were talking about an actual study. They said it was medical misinformation. So, An they, actual they, study. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah I got they it. could do anything. We I, don't even know what the rules are anymore. Just ask clowns. It's blue-haired ass clowns running all that. That's probably going to get our YouTube channel shut down right yeah. there. Sorry about that. Ass clownies. Yeah. You got to write that down. That's actually funny. New language. Oh, God. So, on top of the Babylon B article, Hillary Clinton actually suggested what Trump really wants is to kill his opposition. Now, we know from experience that whenever the left says something about their opposition, they're typically the ones doing it. So yes, this is a little damning on the part of Hillary that she would come right out and say during a podcast released on Friday that she believes former President Donald Trump wants to model himself after dictators like Russian President Vladimir Putin. Trump nope. beat Clinton to become president during 2016 election, and she has had it in for him ever since. She has allegedly has connections to Russia. Uh, I'm going to say something here. Look, World War II, horrible war, and all of this. One thing is true, though. The propaganda machine really went to town on Adolf Hitler. They did. Yes. Okay, that is undeniable. Now, I can go back through the news articles recently and show you the exact same pattern being used against Putin. Yeah. The Correct. exact same pattern. It, yeah. Because it, guess it, what? It, I mean, it's all propaganda mm -hmm. and it's, you know, listen, uh, I never went to the formal um, PSYOP school. I'm just cross-trained in it. I went through a big chunk of it. Yeah. Yes. Um, I worked with the PSYOP guys because civil affairs works with those guys really close. And I saw how they work. Yeah. I read all their manuals. Yep. And literally, it's the same playbook that just the words change, but the tactics yes. and the maneuvering yep. is all the same. Yeah, This isn't a judgment of any individual and his or her deeds. This is pointing out the propaganda directed at a target when they really want to demonize somebody. Mm -hmm. So You're anyway, correct. Trump beat Clinton to become president. Clinton on the Democracy Docket podcast accused Trump of modeling himself after President Putin and other global dictators. Suggest well, we've never had a global dictator. That's interesting that she would say global dictator. Yeah. That is weird. Hmm. Hmm. Suggesting her former opponent wants to commit heinous acts against those who oppose him. Like what? Putting people in concentration camps and starving out an entire population of 60 million in Russia in 1917? Yeah, no. No. No, no. Putin does what Trump would like to do, Clinton told election lawyer Mark Elias. What, ride bears, bear-shirted with no shirt and eat caviar? Uh, well, first of all, let's just be honest here. <clears throat> Putin does assassinate journalists. That is true. Uh, yeah, he's he's a killing fool, and he's I don't I'm, I don't agree with anything that that man does. What I'm trying to say is this: uh, if you think the left doesn't want to do the same thing, you're out of your fucking mind. Why do you think they want to take away all the guns? Yes. And why don't you look at throughout history and see what happens to every country shortly after it being disarmed? Hell, even Canada is, for the most part, disarmed, and they're going full communist. In fact, one of the top what five ways you can die in that country is assisted suicide. Yeah. Remember the whole death panel talk, and that would never be possible? Oh, well, there will never be. Well, they're doing panel. that shit yeah. now. Yeah. And guess what? In China, they're doing that wholesale. They're rounding people up, putting them in concentration camps, selling their goddamn internal organs for profit, raping whole cultures out of existence yes and you know committing genocide in on in my opinion on factory level uh that's absolutely true everybody thinks of the uyghurs when you say that yes about china 
to bet it's been going on for 50 years. Correct. They have been beating the Tibetanness out of the Tibetans for over 50 years. The Dalai Lama can't even cross over from India to Tibet for fear of being thrown into Chinese concentration. And he'll, he would die. He would die badly. Uh, so we have to be very cautious of how Trump sees the world, because in that world, he only sees strongman leaders. He sees Putin. He sees Xi. He sees Kim Jong-un in North Korea. Well, listen. Kim Jong-un's a fat little toad of a dude. Yeah, he, fuck that guy. But but the thing is, is to take care of a lot of the corruption we have going on, it's probably going to require some decro, uh, you know, decro, a Dacronian, what is it? Draconian. Draconian you know, level event. It's something like Night of the Brown Shirts or something. That that's how bad this is getting. It's it's getting it's getting ugly. Well, I mean, let's let's face it that we've have our all of our schools have been infiltrated all the way down to kindergarten. Yes. Okay. That is absolutely correct. Our elections have been digitized to the point where it could easily be screwed with mm -hmm. and you could just push a button and delete the evidence. We have states that have destroyed ballots that you're supposed to keep for what 10 years from the 2020 uh, installation. I of... have enough material just yes. on Michigan to do an entire show yeah. just and, on that in Michigan. And we can cover that in the future. Yeah. And and now we have people getting elected who are getting paid anywhere from two hundred to four hundred thousand dollars a year, spending four to twelve years and coming out multimillionaires? Yes. There's all know, kinds of insider training, uh, trading gifts, all kinds of crazy stuff that we do we don't even know about. And do you really think it's that much of a stretch that the people up there want to maintain that that uh, you know system of living and that lifestyle? And they're willing to do it by picking up a phone and giving a name. And that next thing you know, that, that person dies of a heart attack, suicide, plane crash, uh, you know, flat out just, you know, killed, stabbed, what you, you name it, 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 it's happening. Yeah, that's look, the reason they pay all of these politicians, the money that they get, do and give them the kickbacks that they do is to put them on a leash. There's a lot of ways to put people on a leash. Some respond to threats to their family. Some respond to money. It's a combination for others. Some it's their, some sort of sick cake freak. You got to catch them in the pecker wrecker uh, situation. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Epstein uh, you know, Island. Where's the list? Yeah. Violating the halls of Congress. Oh yeah. Butt sexathons. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about the butt sexathon in, in the, in the white house. Yeah. Yeah, Holy was, crap. The congressional building. But in the Capitol. It's probably happened in the White House, too. Let's just straight up be honest at this point. In time. Yes, yes. At any rate, Hillary is literally suggesting that Trump wants to do all the fun stuff that she did. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.